Hi, this is James E2. Welcome back to our latest tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to expand on our previous video, which covered export and import of data to Dynamics CRM. One of the questions we often get asked is how you import two entities which depend on each other. Probably the most common example of that is when you're trying to import your accounts and your contacts. In order to import an account with the primary contact populated, the contact has to exist first. But in order to populate the contact, the account has to exist first, so you're caught in a chicken and egg. So this video will show you the solution for it. What you do as normal is go to your settings area, data management, and start to import data. Now normally at this point, what you do is you select files together. So I'll just show you the files that we're going to import. So what I have here is a list of accounts that I'm going to import along with the primary contact. Now obviously if you're doing an import you'll have a lot more information that relates to your accounts and your contacts than we're using here, but we're only using the, the data that's important for our purposes in order to match them up. So what we have is our list of companies here, and in each case, each company has been given a unique identifier, in this case a foreign key. We also have the name of the primary contact and the foreign key that's been assigned to them on the other spreadsheet. So each company on this one, on this spreadsheet, has a foreign key and we're going to look up to the primary contact foreign key. So if we look at the contact record, again we'll see the first contact on our list is Hermione Vasquez and she works for AC Consulting. So her primary key is 1 and the primary key of the company is 51. So what we're going to do, or what I've done, is I've zipped both of them together. So now, when I'm browsing to upload a file, rather than going for a file, I go for my zipped data. The data import wizard works as it would uploading one entity, so it just identifies the entity. It will let us look up to an existing data map. We do have one which will do this, but I want to show you how to create it. So I'll go in, I'll create a new default mapping. For the account spreadsheet, I want to create accounts. From the contact spreadsheet, I want to create contacts. We hit next and then we can map our fields as normal, dealing with one entity at a time. So I'll deal with the account first. I want the company to go into the account name. The company FK, that's the foreign key, will go into the FK field, which we've created. First name of the contact isn't relevant to us at the moment, neither is the last name. But what I want to do is say the primary contact for this company will be found from the primary contact FK. So I'll look up to that, the primary contact. We're not doing it by full name, we're doing it by FK as we said. And that's as mapped to our account. So we go to the contact. Again, the last name is going to go to the last name. The company, we can ignore at this stage because we don't care what the company name is. We're going to map it on the foreign key. So let's look up company name. Not from the name of the account, but from the FK. We also need to populate the foreign key on the contact or the lookup from the account. So there we go. That's it mapped. I can give the data map a name if I want to. Let's not bother today. Submit that and that's the data submitted. So let's just wait for that to upload. And there we go, it's uploaded our 100 accounts with 100 contacts. Let's just look at one at random. We'll go and look at the ones that are fully imported. I can see that this account now has that primary contact on it. Let's look at the example we looked at before, which was Hermione. Let's just check, she does work for AC Consulting. There we go, our import has worked. Let's look at that record. There's Hermione, she works for that account. Let's look at the account and Hermione is the primary contact. And that is how to upload two entities that depend on each other. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want any more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.